Hi everyone, in today's video I just want to have a talk about the firmware updater for the Razer Kraken V3 Pro. Now, I'm glad I came across this because, you know, I looked at a lot of videos and watched a lot, uh, and went to a lot of forums and um, I didn't actually see anything about this, just a bunch of complaints about all the problems that this headset has got and uh, yeah, look, it does have problems, uh, as I'm sure all of you are very well aware of by now. So when I first got the headset a few days ago, I was only able to get about two hours of usage out of them. That is shockingly poor. Uh, Razer has advertised about 11 hours with haptics and RGB and 44 hours without. You know, something along those lines. Um, and two hours is absolutely nowhere near that. So, yeah, I just want to talk about quickly my, my experience with the with the headset after I did manage to find this firmware updater and install it. Uh, there is good news and there is bad news, right? So, the good news is that it does seem to have increased my usage um, so now I can get four and a half hours of usage instead of the two that I got before which for me personally is okay because I usually don't game more than three or four hours at a time anyways I think I think that's a decent little gaming session um, but it's still nowhere near what is advertised, you know, and even for myself, sometimes I do like to stay and game longer than my usual sesh for about, you know, maybe five or six hours. Um, that would have been perfect for me. I would have been, I would have been perfectly happy with that. Um, so that's, that's one of the, you know, good news, bad news things. Uh, another bit of good news is that before I installed the firmware updater, my headset would actually just keep on charging and I'd never know uh, if it's full or not. And when I went to Synapse, uh, it would just, it was sort, it would show, it would show a full battery, okay, but it would, you know, it never shows a percentage or anything, even after the firmware updater, which which is annoying for a lot of people, myself included. But at least now, I was able to see um, not just the battery, you know, filled almost to the top, which was colored in white. Now it actually shows a fully charged green battery, which for me is, it's still something. It's an improvement because at least now I know that my headset is fully charged. So I have that, I have that comfort whereas before I didn't. So now I know whenever I see that green button, sorry, that green battery, um, I know that I can get at least four and a half hours of usage from my headset. Now, with the, with the last half an hour of the four and a half hours, I just want to say that unfortunately, you will hear beeping every few seconds, notifying you that the headset is low. Um, now, now for for half an hour extra use is quite a bit, right? Especially if you're in the middle of the movie and you just need that extra push for a few, you know, a few more minutes to to get to the end of the movie and whatnot, you know. Um, so to hear beeping for half an hour, look, I did get used to it personally. I, I'm just happy that I got uh, an extra half an hour. So you know, compared to how I was before with the, with only two hours. So it's not too bad, considering you do get used to it. And there is always a chance that in a further update, uh, they could change that as well. So yeah, look, guys, um, yeah, I made this video for, for those who just might have this headset, not know about this update, which, you know, I'm sure you probably do by now, but just in case, um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to help somebody. I'm going to leave the 
link in the description to this page and hopefully guys if you don't mind um, after your after your experiences I'd just like to hear from you in the comments how long your particular batteries last for and how your charging indicators are and things like that because based on your feedback if I get some you know for example if I hear from some of you that you're getting something like six seven eight hours even of battery life which is even better than my four and a half that I'm getting um, you know I might go and try and get myself another pair you know get a refund on these ones and try to get a you know a better pair so please let me know if you can and yeah all the very best guys I genuinely hope that that I help some of you because it's such a shame this head this headset has all these problems because otherwise it's actually phenomenal like that it, it just enhances everything that you listen to games movies music whatever you're into just sounds so much better with this headset so yeah it, it's just too bad it has all the problems that it's got um, but yeah good luck everyone and as I said I, I hope sincerely that I hope I've helped some of you because I know how how heartbreaking it is to have all these problems um, especially if you're past a return window where you know you can't actually get get a refund or, or a replacement and this video might make a world of difference to you so yeah let me know in your comments how you go thank you guys have a good day and all the best thanks for watching